there's anything unique about dating in Boston? Dating in Boston. Well, I think if, if, if the city wasn't as segregated as it is, it'll be a lot easier for people to integrate and like really find their matches because they're kind of stuck in their, in whatever bubble they're in and whatever 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 gang you hang with or like crew of people you chill with or what kind of, whatever type of people you hang with that's the kind what of What are the types? What are the groups? What 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 are the characteristics of the different segregated groups? Wait, wait, you talking about like race segregation or like just different school segregation or within what do you mean like I want to say in, in the city in the city is definitely heavily on the race. I mean, it's it's yeah. a, it's a very silly concept that's still lingering along for so many years, but like I'll give you an example. I was dating uh, my last girlfriend was Chinese, and she was from she went she was born and raised in Philadelphia, and I actually had another dude spit at like at me, like spit at me because I was dating a Chinese girl and I'm African American. It's like well, and it's funny because stuff like that like people still get people get still get heated over stuff like that. Boston, this happened. Hmm? In Boston, this happened. Yeah. Right up the street. You could Boston, turn the camera that way. Right up. Yeah. It's funny. Before I came to Boston, I heard about that. Everyone used to tell me that, you know, it's a very segregated state and city in general. And it's very tough. But I really haven't had, like, that many, like, issues like that. I've dated white girls, black girls since I've been here. And I've never really had any issues at all. 